Lucky 1000 and today I found, we went to Dollar Tree today, my mom and I, and we found, I found this little aroma diffuser for $1.25. So I thought I'd check it out and see how it's going to work. Okay, so this aroma diffuser here, it is water free. It is, you have to use a battery, you use um, AAA's batteries in it, and it's portable. You can take it wherever you want to go. So if you went to a motel room, you could take it and put it in the motel room with, and you have somebody smoking in there, and you could use this, you know, some, huh? No, you didn't smoke in the motel room, but we had somebody in the motel room. When we went to the motel and we opened up the door, that's all you could smell. And it was a smoke-free motel. So we were afraid they were going to try to charge us. So we went down right away to let them know. And they noted it so they didn't charge us for it. So, And that, that's where I thought, you know, this might be a cute little idea for motels, you know, doing stuff like that. Yeah, you could put this in your car. You could also, I was thinking, um, in the bathroom when it's stinky. <laughs> I'm not going to name any names. So, anyways, <laughs> I thought it was cute. So, let's, let's uh, bring you down a little bit so you can see what I'm going to do. Okay. I know. Okay. Alrighty. So we're going to open this up and see what you get. You get the little diff aroma diffuser. There you go. Any cute? I'm gonna make sure. I'm used to the other arm here. Yeah. There you see, little cutie. And it gives you a pad. And what you do with the pad, you put um, your smelly stuff, your fragrance oil, and you can put it on the pad. I got this stuff here for $1.25 at Dollar Tree and I got two different kinds here. I got, I use these, I put them in my mom's um, but hers is a plug-in. So I put put it in her in her room so um, that's what we do. So what I'm gonna do, uh-oh, well you need a little screwdriver so I'll have to get Shay Bear, my assistant in the corner over here, to get me a screwdriver so I can get this out so I can put the batteries in. So stay tuned. Okay, so I got my little screwdriver here. And thank goodness he has these because not everybody has these little screwdrivers, you know. So it could be a problem if you don't have one. And it's not easy when you can't see it either. Babe, I don't think this is going to work. It's square. Can't be square. No. Can't see it. Alright, there it goes. I knew you could do it for me. Oh. You mean the screwdriver square? I don't have my glasses on. Yeah, the screwdriver. See, it's a square one, so... He gave me a straight, so that's why I was having trouble getting it out. Yeah, but if you don't have one, I mean, my goodness, I guess you could use a, a knife, like a steak knife, but, I mean, not everybody. Well, yeah, you could. I've done it, but it damages the screws, so exactly. you shouldn't. So you can't. You shouldn't. So, but he's got that little kit, so that's I nice. See. I know, it's horrible. Well, I don't have my glasses on. You want mine? There you go. I wish they would stay in too. You know, the screw. Yeah. I wish it could stay in there. 
Right. So you don't lose it. Yeah, because it is so. Look at how tiny that is. So you could lose that, and there, there you can see that it's square. Yeah. So. You mean Phillips? Yeah, Phillips. So while I was there, I picked up some batteries because I knew it needed batteries. So um, I just bought the cheap ones. You can put more expensive ones in if you want to. If you're going to use it a lot, you know, you might want to. You could probably take it camping with you, too, if you wanted to, and put it in your um, tent. Make your tent smell pretty. Um, or glamping. Yeah, so. Um, there we go. I hopefully you can see what I'm doing now. And, uh. Let's see. Okay, I gotta put this back in here. There we go. I'm gonna stick this in here. Get it in the hole. Yeah, right. Yeah, when you're half blind. My goodness. As I get older, I get less of sight. It's not getting any better, that's for sure. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put it in there. Yeah, I have to figure out where the diffuser part goes. Okay, let's get that on there. There we go. Okay. It says, do not use rechargeable batteries. And it made in Vietnam. Oh, so I don't know if you can see that. It's in gray. It's barely see see seeable. But there you go. Alrighty, so let's read the directions. I thought there, uh, there is directions in the box. I thought there was, but on the bottom there are directions. Okay, so it says for indoor use only. Okay, operation place the aromatherapy diffuser on a flat, dry, sta stable surface out of reach of children and pets. Rotate the base of the aromatherapy diffuser and remove the base. Remove the base. So you gotta take this piece off and turn it and you pull it off. Cool. Okay. Remove the cap of the base. Carefully infuse the pad with up to four, six, four to six drops of your favorite fragrance oil. Which is not included, so you gotta buy some or if you have some at home. Do not oversaturate the pad to prevent leaks. Never place oil or liquids directly on or inside the diffuser unit. Always use an infuser pad. Now, the thing is, they give you one pad. I did not see any pads for sale. Oh no, there's two in here. So you get two pads, which could be a problem because if you can't find these pads, then how are you supposed to do this? Now I would probably go online and I would see where I can find these. Probably be cheaper. Um, I, but I, my store did not have these by themselves. And if they're going to sell this, you would think they would sell these separate, you know, for people who have already got these and need the pads. Um, press the power button to return. The device fan will continuously run. Press the power button again to turn off when desired. The aromatherapy diffuser is powered by two AAA batteries. The batteries are not included, so you have to make sure you get the batteries. And I just showed you, it tells you how to take the, take the back off. Oops, sorry. Um, and uh, caution, as with all small batteries, the batteries used with this product should be kept away from small children who still put things in their mouths. If swallowed, call the pose and control people. 
Always purchase the correct size and grade of battery most and it's suitable for intended use. Do not mix old and new batteries. Clean the battery contacts and also those of the device prior to the battery installation. Ensure the batteries are installed correctly with regard to plus and negative. Do not dispose in fire. Well, who would do that? Do not in ingest. So, and you know, I mean, the only thing that would be a kid might try to, but this is not for kids. So, there you go. You can freeze it if you want. You can read it yourself if you're interested. Um, so. All right, so I'm going to open this lovely doodad here. Mm, it's like a little pouch, yeah. There you go. So there is two. Yes, there is two of them. So at least I give you another one. But and another thing, it does not say how long you can use these pads. Like, can you reuse them? It just it doesn't say it did not say anywhere I don't think let me see if I miss something just said not to saturate it so so it doesn't really say how many times you can use the pad so you're just going to place the pad in here right carefully infuse the pad with up to four six remove it. okay so let's i'm going to use let me use this one because i've used the other one in my mom's room so let's try this one see what it smells like this is um gingerbread mouse that sounds cool Ooh. That smells like a gingerbread. So the only thing is you got to really be careful because these have big openings on them because, you know, and uh, you, it'd be easy to saturate this. So I'm going to put one. My fingers in the way. Four. Five. I got five. Let's put one more over here. And that'll be up. the most you can put in there. Okay, so I got six. You can put up to six drops. Okay, press the power button. Oh, it doesn't say. Okay, so I'm going to put that back on there. And, okay, we'll put this in here. And we'll put this back on there. I guess, just like so. And, okay, it has a little groove on the inside that you can see right there. And it has the hole, so you're going to kind of line it up with the hole and the groove on either side. So it will go, go in for you. There we go. And then you turn it. Just turn it. That's it. Okay, let's see how good this works. Ooh. You hear the fan? You can hear the fan. You can feel the fan actually there so you can see a little bit better let me get a napkin i think i spilled a little bit of that oil okay and it just has to be on a small surface and that's it my concern is trying to find the pads. Um, if anybody's got one of these and had to get pads, 
Um, let me know if your store carried them or did you have to go online or did you find them somewhere else? So let me know uh, on this underneath on the comments. So that would help me out if you have or had one of these. I think it's cute. I can smell it. it. Smells good. I would put these in a small room. I in my big house, like you know, in here would be too much. I was thinking maybe you could put it in the bathroom and you can put it on while you're going, you know, um, <clears throat> and and it would freshen the bathroom, and then turn it off because. You don't want it to keep running. You're going to wear the battery down real quick. You know, um, I don't know how long the battery would last if you just left it on and forgot about it. I don't know. But, um, you know, that would be one thing to, to wonder about. Yeah. i just bring it out a little bit more. There we go. Yeah. Maybe you want to see it a little bit closer. Let me... I'll, I'll zoom up so you can see it the best you can. Yeah, there you go. There. So, there. So, I do smell it, but then I spilled a little bit here. I see, it, I don't know if it's leaking, and it could be, or if it's just that I might have spilled some when I put it on there. I get these for $1.25 at Dollar Tree and I think they're great. I mean, they don't have that many of them. They don't have a bunch of different variety of them. Um, but they do have a couple of them. So, you know. But you have to be careful because their holes are really wide. They want you to... I hate when companies do that. And I feel like they're trying to rip you off because you know you're going to spill it out and they know that you'll have to buy another one. So to me, that's that's not nice. So yeah, I do. I think I smell it. Oh yeah, I can smell it. I can smell it from there. I just want to bring it up closer so you guys can see, and you can hear it. It is a little loud, but I don't think it's loud enough where it's going to irritate me or anything. I don't think so. Let me see. I'll put this paper in front so you can kind of get a gist of the fan. I think it will move it. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of moving the paper a little bit if you can see that. So, I mean, it seems to be a pretty good strong fan. You know, I mean, you know, it's a dollar twenty-five. You know, um, yeah. Yeah, see the paper's moving. So it's a pretty good fan, I think. Um, yeah, so I, I think it's cute. I like it. Um, I will probably put this one in the bathroom. That was my idea when I got it. Um, and then I also thought, like he said, you could put it in your car. Turn it on when you're driving, you know, and then turn it off. Um, because, you you know, you'd have... That's the bad thing you got to remember. But, um, you know, to turn it on, to turn it off. Because you'll wear your batter batteries right down to nothing if you don't. And, uh, but, yeah, I thought it was cute. So, for the price and everything, I would, um, yeah, I would get another one maybe. Put it in another small room or, I mean, I don't think it's going to do your living room or... Not one, anyways. Maybe if you had a couple of them and you put them in sections. Or if you had a hallway, you could put it in your hallway maybe. Sit on a table on, in your hallway and turn it on when you go by or something like that. Um, yeah, so. Anyways, that was my adventure for today. Um, we had a good time. I took her out to eat, my mom. And uh, I'm going to zoom you out. We went out to eat, and I, I took her to Dollar Tree, and we went to the bank today, so um, it was a nice little outing. It, right now, the temperature in Florida is 45, I believe she said, and it's going down to 30 tonight, so it's, 
it's gotten chilly to today was about 60 65 and uh, but the Sun was out so it really wasn't that bad um, you know so it was quite quite nice so anyways monkey says she's gonna leave now <laughs> I'm leaving now guys sorry no <laughs> um, I hope you enjoy the video and let me know if you got one of these and what you thought about it um, yeah cuz and and let me know where you put yours so I'm um, give us some more ideas on where to put them I mean I don't think it would do a one's gonna do a big room no I don't but if you have a small bedroom or a small bathroom or you could probably put it in your camper or an RV you know stuff like that I would actually put it in my tent I don't think it would harm it I mean as long as it's on a flat surface you know it's not gonna do any harm might give it a little uh, smelly and a romantic time in the tent um, you know something like that but um, yeah you never know so anyways my kiss is she's out for now y'all have a great weekend um, I don't know what we're doing I know we're going up to Christopher tomorrow so we might maybe do some videos up there tomorrow so um, we'll see see how warm it is and um, I'll see you guys in the next one so take care y'all and yeah bye